How's it hanging dudes? My name is Sean and welcome back to uh well I guess another dinosaur video, right? So we're going deep boys. That's right, we are going deep. And I am excited to do this. I can't believe that actually these games are coming out. So, you know, if you've seen the you obviously seen the thumbnail, <laughs> you've seen the title. So these are my top three games uh for twenty eighteen that I am super excited for. Every single one of them has uh something unique about it. It was kinda hard to really well number one is kind of obvious it had to go there but the next two was such a toss-up that they might as well be exactly even and on par but each one of these games have simply just blown me away everything everything about it and they're all kind of similar but at the same time they're every single one of them are different it's like it's it's like christmas it's almost too good to be true and to know that two of these games are definitely coming out this year and one is to be announced but most likely it'll come out this year because there's already a demo it, it, I mean, come on, how, I mean, what more could you ask for, you know what I'm saying? And you want to stay tuned to the very end of the video, because I have, I think I've discovered something really cool about the very top game that I've picked to be, number one, there's something really fishy going on, and you want to miss that, so stick around. Make sure you smash that like button, and make sure you subscribe, I mean, why not, you're already here. Alright boys, let's get right into it. Alright, so, I guess number three in the countdown, but first on the list, um, last but not least at all, you know what I'm saying? At all. Parkosaurus. Parkosaurus. This game is, like, really cartoony, which doesn't mean at the same time it doesn't have the potential to be super, super hard. From the dinos to the people, everything's, like, this blocky art style. I don't know, it's kind of almost like a zoo tycoon, like a, yeah, just like a zoo tycoon type of game, and it's, um, it's really done well. I really like it. And the organizing and the management is going to be where the skill comes in. It's very appealing to kids and younger people just because of this art style and, you know, how it's, you know, it's, it's really cute. It's nice. It's attractive. I mean, who wouldn't want to play this game? But you're like, well, what is the challenge at? You're just building a cute little park. And yeah, the sandbox probably allows for just a cute little park. You go in, you, you throw some lights up, you put a park down, and you have some fun, right? And you tinker around with it, and you do whatever you want to do. But there's so much more underneath the layer. Like, it seems really simple, but the management, you know, the, the hiring of people, the um, anything that goes with the regular tycoon game. If you've ever seen Planet Coaster or played it, you you know like just how you know intensive the management can be, the research, the the tech trees, everything that comes with a regular management game. It's that, but with dinosaurs. Instead of a zoo, it's a dinosaur. And it's it's so appealing. It, it doesn't have to be super realistic, but it just works. Everything ties in together. I mean, of course, the park building and designing is what I like the most. That's what attracts me the most, and the fact that it's um, you only have certain sizes and you have to you know do your little layouts and make it look nice and visually appealing. That's what I like the most about this game, and in the art style that it's done in, it's really cool. There's a, a tech tree. You know, you have to upgrade your fences. You know, stuff like that. There's a uh, you know there's even seasons in the game and that's that's what's really cool. You know if you don't upgrade your fences eventually dinosaurs can break out. You know things are like that are going to happen. It's it's a you know it's a way to uh, give you an incentive to to upgrade and go further and you even can go into first person shooting. You can get these little rifles and you can <laughs> you can take down the escaped dinosaurs. You know and, it, and it's and it, and it seems really fun. Like so at the same time it's like in most games if something like that would happen an animal escaped from a zoo or something like that, you'd be super stressed trying to get it out, you don't want your your revenue to be hurt from, and you know the people to, to leave the park and blah 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 blah, it makes it harder to get to that next unlock, right? But in this, it almost turns it into a mini game, and it's super, super fun. So yeah, Parkosaurus, um, I'm super hyped for that, I can't wait for it. I mean, hopefully they release some other stuff for it, um, some different ideas, some concepts, uh, maybe they're gonna add on to it, I don't know. But as is, it looks like a great game to play anyway. Up next on the list is Prehistoric Kingdom. This is a perfect simulation of, you know, or at least it appears to be, of a perfect sandbox and dino park building um, scenario, a simulation. I mean, and there's already a demo, so, you know, please go check it out for yourself. You know, this, this game, I think, is worth it. And if you do play the demo, uh, maybe you'll discover something that I don't know about or I haven't seen yet because I, I haven't even played them. I don't know anything about that besides what I've researched online without playing and seeing other people kind of dive into it and do a, a couple of different things here and there. So yeah, demo. Check that out for sure. Don't take my word for it. You know, and this has everything that Parkosaurus has, you know, from the management to um, the hiring of the staff to 
you know the tech tree or the you know the unlock chart of whatever you know variation is in whatever type of tycoon game right so so and you know so these two games are you know very much alike but where this game kind of branches off and the reason why I put it just a notch above on the list is because the realism this game goes through the extra detail to add that extra bit of realism that really just really makes a difference let's be honest um, Parker source is cool but you know the the cutesiness can only attract you for so long um, the fact that this is uh, so the fact that this is so realistic and the fact that you can you know do anything that you want with terrain you can make huge valleys like deep 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 valleys all the way up to huge gargantuan mountains and everything in between and the fact that you can recreate different biomes um, and the fact that you can go in and use different tools different brushes different um to actually you know get in detail on your whatever your little habitat your environment is that's this is what makes the difference there's over eight different bio biomes that you can you know add into your game or unlock or I don't know how it works yet but there's over eight different biomes that you can possibly include in your park so that's 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 is that is crazy and the fact that you can possibly intertwine those and you know make your park look as realistic as possible you know if you're really into the aesthetics of it and, and the building and you know stuff like that like if you just like the management any tycoon game will do for you you can you know pick one up whatever if you really like dinosaurs you know what I'm saying this is really for you but beyond that the um, the ability to build and place and construct and make things you know aesthetically pleasing at this early in this game just gives me so much more promise for what it can be in the future I mean this this game is so realistic that each dinosaur will have a detailed growth process and its own individual needs you see what I'm saying so this there's so much that this game offers you know, there's a possibility for al albino dinosaurs. I mean, they really do go all out. They go, they uh, they try to put their all into it. You know, there's plants, rocks, and ground textures from again those eight different biomes. So, have at it. <laughs> Paint and brush and tool and create to your heart's content because this game wants you to. It encourages you to. This is an actual sandbox, and it has dinosaurs. I mean, it has dinosaurs, people. Come on, what's not to like? So, you know, each one of these picks have had their own their own thing to them so far, but they've all been a zoo building, you know, tycoon type of game. And this next one is no different. It is the theme of this video, but this is obviously number one. It's going to be number one for any dinosaur game, unless you're just like an ARK fanboy or something like that. This game is at the top of your freaking list, and it's coming out this summer. There are some you know obvious reasons why this is number one for me but there are also some other reasons that's not okay so this is a zoo tycoon building sandbox with dinosaurs that's what this is it has everything that comes with the previous games every single thing guys but what this game has is a story um, and you can, and you'll know that, especially if you have watched the the new Jurassic movie, Jurassic World movie that came out, and the new one that's coming out. Um, there's trailers online. You just you just type it in, you'll find it. If you haven't, most likely you have if you're into this game, and you can draw some sort, some kind of connections. There is a story, and that's what sets us apart. Like yes, it's a it's an open sandbox, but the fact that there's going to be a story progression completely changes the entire ball game. I don't think it'll take away from it at all, but maybe it does, you know, kind of get you to stop thinking so much about the aesthetics and the, the building and, you know, the leisurely uh, aspects of any kind of zoo tycoon building game, the stopping and the looking and the, and the placing and the tweaking, that kind of stuff. Um, but what it, what it might may, may lack in that is more, is more than will make up for with this story. Um, the fact that you can have an open stand, sandbox like that and an engaging story, just the idea is super engaging every choice you make in this game will lead you into a different path and spectacular cha challenges will arise so what does that mean obviously it means that there is an active and engaged story that's what tipped me off second means that there probably will be multiple endings that's kind of what you might take on it as face value but I think there will be a more a morality factor um, very present in the game. You will 
either get to preserve your park um, as a dedicated sanctuary uh, for all the animals to live out the rest of their life and be appreciated by the rest of you know by the rest of, you know the, the park goers the rest of humanity I guess or um, you know will you be profit driven will you be a, a corporatist will you um, almost as if what we see in this the movie trailer will you be you know somebody who'll sell these dinosaurs um, you know to the highest bidder is that what you'll be you know will you take the dark path down of you know profits over everything I think that's what this game is leading to and I don't know for sure um, again you know I, I try not to spoil myself on games as much as possible so any, even if there's beta gameplay out there or anything like that I try not to watch too much just because you know I, if I do play a game I want to be able to have that authentic feel and anybody should strive to that if they're an actual gamer you don't want to give away all the cool secrets before you play the game because then what's the point of even buying the game right so but they are auctioning off an Indoraptor so that means from the movies and these two games that they're all within a canon lore so that means that with this little small you know insight to what this little this little line is saying it, it, it tells me that there probably will be a morality factor and you'll have to you'll have to choose between uh, good or right even if it hurts your profits to say well, well let's just sell this this hurt dinosaur because it's you know we don't have the medicine right now we don't have the profits to or the revenue to be able to take care of a sick dinosaur so but hey you know this billionaire does we'll sell it to him but then guess what that leads to so many other complications you know that's not in the park uh, and all these other different things that I kind of want to cover because there's so much here there's so much to talk about with this game that it's it's kind of mind-blowing and the game hasn't come out yet and the fact that the movies are coming back uh, you know are coming out alongside of it soon is they're they're, they're creating a good franchise they're, or they're carrying on a good franchise in a good way so that that's my theory that's what I think and um, Hey, you know, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Um, and the fact that you you can uh, you can breed dinosaurs and you know kind of um, I think it's like mixing genes. There's like a whole extra. There's like a tech tree and then there's an evolution tree in this game. And you can kind of evolve dinosaurs. You can get like you can get an Indominus Rex and stuff like that, of course. Um, so, but what if you can get more than that? You know what I mean? Like, what if you, what if you can get an Ultimasaurus? I mean, come on, guys. But no, like so so. There's so much into this game that just the fact that they've added this engaging story just to prop up their own canon and make it you know that much more engaging for their fans is mind-blowing it's rock solid and i can't wait to get to this game just can't wait and that's gonna do it for this game for the uh, and that's gonna do it for this video guys um that was my top three it's just my opinion um if there's games i didn't include that you wanted to have let me know in the comment section below and i'll check them out i might get them i might play them uh there's gonna be plenty of more dino videos coming out i have so many more uh, ideas planned there's so much stuff going through my head i want to get it out there um i don't know how quick i'll be able to do it because i want to make sure that i do it right and i do it fairly frequently so i don't want to burn myself out but hey guys you know keep giving the support keep showing up i appreciate you and i'll see you in the next video